Hello everyone. Um, let's uh, let's create a story together. So, first of all, I'm Michael, and I love uh, stories. Uh, actually, most importantly for me, at least, I love comic books. So, since I was a young child, I always wanted to have superpowers. I didn't really care if I was the superhero or the supervillain. I just wanted superpowers. So, you know, when I got the invitation to come here, I was thinking, okay, you know, like that's my opportunity to say a story and create a comic book. So, uh, I started thinking about uh, what should I say? So, my wife loved horses, so I said, okay, I'm going to create a superhero who gets the powers from a horse. So, I created Horseman. And um, obviously, one thing you need to know about me, because I'm a technologist, I'm really bad at uh, drawing or creating stories, you know, I just code. So I went to my friend, artificial intelligence, from now on I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use the term AI, and I said, okay, you know, we're gonna do something uh, nice together. Um, so I went to AI and I said, okay, let's create our first uh, comic book about Horseman. So those are uh, the keywords I started using because I want to create a, a a, stri a comic stripe uh, with uh, a rescue scene, and because I like the lucky look style, I said, okay, you know, let's give it a try. And this is what we created together. Actually, most of the work was done by AI. Like, isn't it amazing? So after I created a full story of it, I said, perfect. What if I play a little bit more? So I said, what if I take the scene and I move it to a sci fi feature? Uh, and see how this is going to look like. So, this is what we created together. So I said, wow, that's really good. So, without me being able to create comic books, I created two variations. I created whole stories. Actually, I created way, way, way more as I was playing with it. And I said, okay, that's perfect. Like, I managed to do something that I wasn't able But Let's focus a little bit on Horseman. So Horseman has the amazing ability to come from Athens to Patra in four to five hours running. That's amazing, right? Like, that's amazing. But I managed to come with a car in just a couple of hours. More interestingly, to come to this talk, I had to fly from Ireland in less than a day. So, you know, I don't have any superpowers, but Horseman would need more than a week to come from Ireland running. So, what's special about me? Do I have something that is unique on me, or I just use the plane and a car? So, from the invention of the wheel, as species, as humanity, what we've been doing is that we can go longer, faster, carrying more weight. So, is that it? We can just go faster to places, or we have more superpowers. So, you know, you guessed it right, we have way, way more superpowers. We can grow a lot of food, we can build skyscrapers, we can cure ourselves, and we can do way, way, way more amazing things. But does this stop there? Like, is that it? Did we uh, discover all the superpowers that we could get? The answer is no. Actually, I'm really amazed about what's coming. So, first of all, quantum computing is a new technology that we've been talking about for decades, and it's going to revolutionize uh, a lot of computing. I'm going to refer to that a little bit later. Um, so, the next technology that I'm going to speak a little bit is metaverse. Actually, I see a lot of you here are you know, young, young audience, so I'm sure you're playing online games, MMORPGs, whatever, uh, and that's the type of metaverse, but metaverse can do way, way more things. Vir virtual reality, augmented reality, hybrid realities. So another technology I wanted to mention here, even though it's not so appealing, is Web3. Because our whole civilization is based on document exchange, we create a lot of paperwork, we exchange paperwork, and that's at the core of everything we're building in society. 
So that comes to revolutionize that. Biotechnology, okay, you know, a lot of you already expect what I'm going to say, uh, has to do more with our evolution as species of having, you know, synthetic uh, organs or extend our lifespan with a lot of uh, upgrades uh, uh, in a few years. And obviously, AI, and you know, I'm not really going to talk about this a lot here, because you all know what I'm referring to. It's the most popular uh, topic the last year, at least. So as I was creating that slide, and I was saying, OK, you know, that's it. That's an interesting topic. Um, but how the future is going to look like? like Let's all imagine, in our future, in 100 years, when we have all those technology matured enough, how that future is going to look like. So I actually asked my friend AI, AI, what do you think? How it's going to look like? And my friend AI, she created that. So actually, I couldn't zoom enough, but it's very, very interesting how she thought about the future. She actually combined everything uh, with all the technologies that we have today Think about that. So I'm going to focus here in a couple of use cases. So use case number one is workplace. So when I started working uh, with my current team 10 years ago, we couldn't pay rent. So we started using uh, all the technologies available to us, and we started doing online calls. We started using uh, all the free tools that were available, digital tools. and Slowly, we started actually scaling and competing with giants, and everybody thought we were a big company, uh, but we were just five to six people at this time, using all the technology that was available to us. You know, I'm just going to use the word cloud computing, but I'm not going to go deeper. Some other interesting uh, use cases uh, that we will see uh, in the near future, it's going to combine metaverse, and we're going to see our friends, our AI friends, being in the metaverse, sitting in boardroom with us. They're going to have full body, and they're going to help us on our everyday tasks. Something that really struck me a few days back, um, uh, I saw a very interesting use case uh, from a company who managed to use generative AI to take a complicated task from an agent that works on a retail shop selling furniture to a hotel chain, and they were taking this whole task that could take a few days up to a week, and they were making that instant. And the other interesting use case that's one of my favorite is uh, healthcare. So healthcare uh, is one of my favorite topics, and I'm just going to take you back to the COVID uh, era. So when COVID happened, uh, what we saw is that we could we were able to accelerate innovation and take vaccine development from years, just weeks and actually a few months. What actually made that possible? Actually, except from our amazing doctors and biologists, what was available was amazing computational power, the data, algorithms, and artificial intelligence. So all that accelerated uh, the innovation to get our vaccines very, very quickly. Obviously, you've seen uh, uh, robots doing surgeries for the last two decades uh, and making the most difficult operations, actually. Uh, and the last thing, as I promised earlier, is quantum computing. And here I'm going to refer a little bit to the future of what's coming on healthcare. So if we actually manage to unlock the full potential of quantum computing, what will happen is that we will change the human genome. So for the last 200,000 years, we as a species, the Homo sapiens, we haven't really changed. Yes, maybe a few things here and there, but we're more or less the same. So with quantum computing, we will have upgrades and we will be able to cure almost every disease that we know today. So that's going to make us more or less immortals. So is that it? Like with all the superpowers that we're getting, like we're going to become invisible, invincible, faster, stronger, even immortals. So all those superpowers are just created for us, right? Because we, as humans, we love, we have friends, we have ambitions, 
we have passions, we are part of a bigger community. So all the superpowers are only relevant for humans. They don't exist outside of us. And for me, you know, that's very, very interesting. And I cannot stop myself by thinking about how, you know, human is, humans are going to look like in the near future. I'm hopeful, you know, we're going to have all the upgrades and um, we're going to become, you know, more powerful. And, you know, like maybe we somehow utilize everything like AI, as I say here. So, but as we become all those amazing things and we become uh, superhuman, superheroes, maybe supervillains, I don't know. Like, what should we look at? Obviously, for me, personally, as a technologist, as an entrepreneur, uh, when I build something, I always think, okay, is what I'm building for the better of the society, for my friends? Like, is the creation that I have on my mind and data, uh, I create uh, good? So, okay, maybe that's fine, but I'm not just an inventor. I'm also a consumer, and most of us here are consumers. And all of us here in that room, we have an amazing technology in our pockets calling smartphones. So on smartphones, you have all the best algorithms available out there, you have the best chips, you have amazing screens. I mean, my phone now folds uh, these days, wow. So as consumers, we also have um, the ability and also we need to take care of how we use that technology. You know, it's in all of us to decide how we better utilize those technologies for the better good because this is what's going to make technologists of the future to build those. Uh, so, I want to remind everybody that today we're speaking about superpowers. Superpowers that are available to all of us. And those superpowers are just tools. I just want to emphasize on those. They're just parts of a bigger machine, and they're only relevant to humans. So, as humans, we have this responsibility to understand those, and we have to really remain humans. We need to focus on our humanity and bridge within the two worlds. I'm just going to give you a personal example. Uh, you know, I've never run in my life. And uh, a month ago, I finished uh, uh, the Athens Marathon. So how that happened? So I have, you know, my friend here, uh, a smartwatch with AI, that helped me train and get through that. So together, we managed to finish this marathon. So, you know, it's on us to understand how to utilize the superpowers. But more than that, we need to think about the future, and we need to think about the world. I'm start thinking a little bit more about how eventually I'm going to become a father. And uh, I'm thinking, what is the next stage? Right now, how we can help with all of our superpowers, the world become a better place. How we can live something better for our children. And Last but not least, I want to invite all of you here today to understand how we use technology. Every day we use it, some of us we invent it, and we always need to think, is it for the better good? Thank you very much. <laughs>